All right, coleus stem tips. Here's some coleus plants. A beautiful little house plant. Uh, herbaceous or woody? Ah, herbaceous, yes. Here's some other pictures. I got these off the internet uh, by Googling coleus and shows that coleus comes in a wide variety. Coleus leaves come in different varieties and so forth. All very pretty, pretty little herbaceous house plant. Then you have this picture in the book, page 88, showing a coleus stem tip and various features. I will not ask you leaf primordium or uh, bud primordium. Uh, leaf primordium, I'm just going to say those are baby leaves. Bud primordium, oh, what's the term for the buds that form in the axle between the, uh, between the leaf and the stem? Those are called what? Axillary buds, that's what I'll call for. But we could ask about these uh, meristems here. And so we see ground meristem, ground meristem. Uh, we see uh, um, procambium. We could actually point at a bunch of procambium here. Uh, they've got that little strip there, but where's more procambium? It is forming down like this, procambium. What is, it, what is that going to develop into? It's going to develop into what? Yeah, xylem and phloem, the vascular tissues. So these little strips down here, those are developing vascular tissues. Uh, procambium at this point, ground meristem, what's the only th other uh, primary meristem? The one on the outside, which is protoderm, protoderm. All right, let's look at the slide you looked at. Here we have it, a uh, colea stem tip. And so, the, what is this region right here? It is the what? The apical meristem. And as far as, uh, as, far as the uh, primary meristems are concerned, uh, we see, first of all, these strips coming down through here. That is pro-what? Pro-cambium. On its way to being xylem and phloem. And on the outside would be protoderm. And what do we got left? We got everything else. All this stuff in here, and that area right here, and that area right there, is what? Ground meristem. Yes, ground meristem. And uh, is this a monocot or a dicot, just based on this? Well, let's see. Uh, dicots have vascular um, bundles where? In a circle around the outside of the stem. As opposed to monocot uh, stems, they have what kind of vascular bundles? Scattered, yeah. Do these look like they're uh, part of a circle of vascular bundles around the uh, uh, outside of the stem? Or scattered? Yeah, they're around the outside of the stem. And so this would be a monocot or a dicot? A dicot stem, yeah, closer up closer to the apical meristem. As far as cells dividing uh, in the main stem, the only place they're dividing is where? Right here, not back here, but right here. That's the only place they're dividing in the main stem. And, uh, and so, uh, we can see uh, way up high here, a uh, little bit higher. Oh my goodness, apical meristem up close and personal. Let's back off a little bit, work our way down the stem. Uh, we do see a couple, looks like a little mitosis hot spots right there. What are those going to be? Right in there where the, ax the leaf meets the stem. Oh, developing what? Axillary buds. If you look a little farther down, we see what? The axillary buds a little bit more developed. A little bit more developed. They're not mature by any uh, stretch of the imagination. How much cell division is going on in this region of the stem right here? The main stem? None, right. The only place in the main stem that cell division is taking place as far as the stem getting longer is what? Way up here. That's the only place that cells are dividing. And those new cells form uh, where? In front, behind, or uh, one or the other or what? The new cells form where? Behind the apical meristem. Behind the apical meristem. We work our way down the stem. Any cell division going on here in the main stem? No. What's this red stained... Uh, can't see it too well, but the red stain tissue, that is baby vascular tissue, procambium. And, uh, and here's uh, a little farther down the main stem. And so uh, how much cell division occurring here? None, absolutely none. And here's the picture we looked at, which shows the same sort of thing. And so what have we seen up here toward the top? We've seen uh, uh, protoderm on the outside. We've seen bundles of procambium that are developing into xylem and phloem and all the rest is ground meristem. 
And so, as far as the main stem is concerned, uh, there's uh, how much cell division going on? None. The only place it's going on is where? Way up here. And uh, and we see the uh, the the uh, xylem and phloem tissue developing uh, around the uh, outside a circle of vascular t uh, uh, bundles around the outside of that uh, dicot stem. Last picture. <clears throat> what in the world is this? Well, this was a uh, leaf over here. I uh, got uh, got lost. This is the main stem. What is this? It's a what? It's an axillary bud that's budded. <clears throat> now, uh, coleus is what? Herbaceous or woody? It is herbaceous. That means it doesn't have a dormant phase. It doesn't uh, have uh, an overwintering phase where the leaves fall off and the buds just sit there till the next spring. In a coleus plant, which makes its life mostly inside the house, uh, <clears throat> as soon, very soon, at, as soon as the axillary buds are mature, they bud. And so if you look at a coleus plant up close and personal, uh, you'll see buds, uh, axillary buds budding between in every leaf axle. Uh, the axillary buds just bud away. They don't, uh, they don't wait. As soon as they're mature, off they go. And so this is an axillary bud with all the same things we saw um, uh, up, in the, uh, up at the top of the uh, main stem. What is this right here? Apical marrow stem. Uh, what are these uh, red traces here? They are procambium. What would this be in here as far as the baby tissue goes? Ground marrow stem, and on the outside, you say the, uh, the primary marrow stem is what? Protoderm. All right, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, coleus stem tip.